Hello everyone. For this session, we are going to discuss how potential difference across R1 and R2 changes as the resistance across R2 changes. We are not going to use numbers here, we are just going to use algebraic expressions. Now for a start, we know that R1 and R2 are connected in series. So that means the current flowing through R1 and R2 Sorry, the current flowing through R1 is equal to the current flowing through R2. We know that when R2 changes, current flowing through the circuit will change. But when we say the current remains constant, what we are saying is that current through R1 is equal to current through R2. So we are going to write the three different expressions here. We let the current flowing through the circuit be I. So we have I equals v1 over r1, i equals v2 over r2, and we have i equals total uh, EMF across the battery over r1 plus r2. Right, we can just add up the resistor, resistance because r1 and r2 are connected in series. Now we do know that when R2 change, V2 is going to change. So for the formula that I'm highlighting here, I think I'll highlight in another color, I highlight in blue, this one. We're just going to pack it one side first. Because when we want to study how one variable affects the whole equation, we don't want two variables to change together. So we just stick to one variable, and the variable will be R2. So we definitely need to use this. Sorry. Okay, we definitely need to use this. All right. Now, from this equation, one, two, we can express as V1 over R1 equals V over R1 plus R2. We know, we know that the if EMF on the battery is constant. So V is constant. We also know R1 is a fixed resistor. And therefore, R1 is also constant. No, but we don't know V1 for sure. Because when in R2, when R2 changes, the current flowing through the circuit will definitely change. So definitely V1 is going to change. But we don't know how much it changed. So we're going to leave it there. Now we're going to look at the right hand side. We're going to look at this equation V over R1 plus R2. So how when resistance or variable resistor changes? So let's not talk about changes, let's talk about increase. When R2 increase, R1 plus R2 increases. Therefore, V over R1 plus R2 decreases. Hence, V1 over R1 decreases. Since R1 is a constant, because R1 is a fixed resistor, V1 decreases. Also, V equals V1 plus V2. So when V1 decreases and V is constant, V2 
increases. So we know when R2 increases, V2 also increases. Now how about when R2 decreases? Let's rewrite the formula again. V1 over R1 equals V over R1 plus R2. When R2 decreases, V over R1 plus R2 increases because V and R1 are constant. So when R2 decreases, your denominator effectively decreases. Hence, overall, the fraction will increase. So that means V1 over R1 actually increases. And since R1 is a constant, V1 increases. So when your R2 decreases, your V1 increases. And since V equals V1 plus V2, V is a constant. When V1 increases, V2 decreases.